Hello, welcome back to Harry Has a Cocktail, episode 30. Recently, I've been getting this question from people. They want to know if I've ever made a drink here on the show that I did not like. And the answer to that question, friends, is yes. Yes, indeed, I have. There are a lot of drinks out there that I don't like, and I've tried to mostly present drinks on here that I like to drink. I enjoy making something that I think I enjoy that you might also enjoy. I don't know, I guess I try to maintain a cheery disposition here on the program, and I think a lot of people are interested in car wrecks more than, uh, more than a successful show or something. So it's interesting to me that people want to know if there are drinks that I, I have ended up not liking. The drink I'm going to make today is, in fact, one of the drinks I made made an episode several months ago and I really did not like it and the episode never saw the light of day because I just didn't know how to present it. The drink just kind of shocked me in a way that I wasn't expecting. What I'm gonna make today is a caipirinha. A caipirinha is made with cachaça. Some people refer to it as, as a Brazilian rum, but don't let Brazilians hear you uh, say that. The uh, cachaça industry has worked very hard to get the alcohol industry to basically agree that it is quite different from rum. It's essentially distilled from cane juice, sugar cane juice, while rum is made from molasses. Cachaça has a very, very distinct flavor. It has a real sort of freshness to it. It's very difficult to describe. So when I first made this drink, I just didn't know, I just had no idea what it was gonna taste like. I guess I had somewhere in my brain, I thought it would taste something like a mojito, and it tastes nothing like a mojito. <laughs> a mojito is made with rum in in fact, if you've never had cachaça and you've never had a caipirinha, I just don't know how to describe it to you. Interestingly enough, uh, my nephew-in-law, Ben, also made this drink once for himself. Uh, unbeknownst to me, we made it separately from each other. And he also does not like a caipirinha. <laughs> so it's very difficult also to present this drink as something that you don't like because this drink has become essentially the national drink of Brazil. So who am I to offend an entire people, an entire country? So please don't come at me for the caipirinha. After I made it the first time, I thought to myself, well, maybe I made it wrong. Maybe it's just not, maybe, you know, it can't be that bad, right? I mean, all kinds of people love a caipirinha, so why don't I like it? I've been looking around at some different recipes and there are different ways of making a caipirinha. Obviously, as I've said many times here on the show, there are many different recipes for a lot of our favorite drinks. So chances are, this might not be the way you'd make a caipirinha. Here are the ingredients for today's caipirinha. We have cachaça. Now this is Le Blanc. Cachaça? Le Blanc. Cachaça? This is one of the, one of the best ones around, I've been told. You know, it just, I can't even describe to you what this smells like. It smells very fresh to me. It smells almost like, it's very herbal. It, it has sort of a grass-like quality to it. I mean, which makes sense. It's made from cane juice, which is a plant. It seems like I would like this drink, so I'm gonna try it. We've also got some light brown sugar, and we've got lime. There are basically three ingredients, cachaça, sugar, and lime juice. That's it. Now, most of the time when you look up a recipe for a caipirinha, they use regular sugar, very fine, gray granulated sugar. But today I was looking up uh, a guy I follow on YouTube. His name is Steve the Bartender. Steve the Bartender. He's a really cute Australian dude who makes drinks and I really like his, his channel, so check it out. He made his with um, brown sugar. So I thought, oh, that's interesting because the brown sugar brings a little bit of the uh, molasses quotient back into this. The first time I made it, I made it with regular sugar, and as I said, I just didn't like it. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try that today and go with Steve the Bartender's recipe. So thank you very much, Steve the Bartender. So here we go. Here's how we make the caipirinha. I'm going to go ahead and make this directly in my glass. First, I'm going to cut this lime, and we're going to put three quarters of a lime into our glass. So we're gonna use three quarters of this baby. You know, cut the ends off, cut the ends off, cut it in half. So as you can see here, I went and cut the lime into eight pieces. So I'm going to put six pieces into my glass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces of lime into your rocks glass. Now we are going to use two tablespoonfuls of brown sugar. One, two. I went ahead and used a heaping bar spoonful, so. Go ahead and fill it up. And now, I'm going to take my muddler 
and I'm going to muddle very lightly the brown sugar into the limes. It doesn't take a lot of muddling, only really like about 10 little smushes and you've got some good nicely dissolved brown sugar on top of your lime juice. Now, two ounces of cachaça. One, two. Now we are going to fill our glass with crushed ice. This is going to be a very unsophisticated way of crushing my ice. I'm essentially taking this bag and taking this towel, closing the bag, don't forget to close the bag. I'm gonna wrap it in the towel and I'm going to hit it with this hammer. Please watch your fingers. Do not crush your fingers with the hammer, please. Now, it's not completely crushed, but it's, it's, it's good enough. Now, some people stir these, as Steve the bartender instructed me. Some people shake them. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it right in the glass. Put one final squeeze of lime in there. Okay, it's nice and green and pretty. Let's see how it tastes. Fingers crossed. Mm. Steve the bartender, you're a genius! I gotta say, I like this a lot better than the last time. I remember what I did differently. It's a combination of things. There's way more sugar in this than the last one that I, that I made. There's more lime juice in it than the last one I made. You know, I think I actually would prefer this shaken. I'm gonna shake it a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the whole thing in there. Just gonna shake it up some. Okay, and I'm just gonna pour it right back into my glass. You might not necessarily need to do that. Let me see what that did. I like that. See, I'm liking this now. I, I'm sorry, but I don't think I like to present shows where I don't like the drink. <laughs> I wanted to find something that I can recommend. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, not every drink that I make is going to be for you. I don't think my niece Delina has enjoyed one of the drinks that I've made on here. Let me know, Delina, if I'm wrong. I think there was maybe one. Did you ever try the chocolate covered cherry, Delina? This is good, this is growing on me. All right. So hopefully my Brazilian friends will not, um, will not hate me. I won't be boycotted by an entire country because I actually really enjoy the Caipirinha. Thanks as always for watching Harry as a Cocktail. I hope you go ahead and uh, give the Caipirinha a chance. I gave mine a second chance and I enjoyed it very much the second time. And I hope to see you back here next time. Cheers.